Hey guys, it's Nate, aka the Foot Account, and welcome back to the channel. We all know that evolutions are massive this year in FC24, but recently the evos that have been released just aren't fun or cool. They are actually meta, and they're meta enough that number one, prices are crashing on the market because people are selling cards to put evos in their team, and number two, they're doing exactly that. These evo cards are meta enough that they are making it into starting 11s. They are right with the power curve of where players are at from cards in packs, SBCs, and elsewhere on this game. It's crazy. I want to talk about that today, and I'm still bullish on the market. That's why I have no coins. I am invested, and I think some prices on the market could continue to do well this week. So we'll cover prices and a lot more in today's video. If you're excited for it, drop a thumbs up. Subscribe if you're new. Let's go over the SBC content from yesterday. Once again, if I didn't say it before, Happy New Year's. EA actually dropped us a pretty nice New Year present yesterday. We're going to start off with this. The New Year's kickoff SBC, which is literally a quote-unquote free because it's not quite free, but it almost is. Very easy to complete. Tradable 100k pack. And this really impacted the market a lot. Guys, I can't remember the last time a 100k pack tradable has been dropped as an SBC. It has been a hot minute. They've done, of course, the Daily Winter Tradable Challenge, which is nice. There was a 50k pack, I think, even on Christmas or last week sometime. But a 100k pack, this is impacting the market a lot, specifically in the SBC fodder market. You're like, nah, Nate, a tradable 100k pack? Oh, yeah. This sort of thing, when it's given out and it's this cheap, everybody's going to go ahead and do that, right? Now, I haven't done it because I haven't been on the game that much, but you can tell that everybody else is because take a look at fodder, right? What are the most common cards you're going to be packing from a 100K pack? Probably 83s to 84s to 85s, and you can tell because all of this fodder is down even more. 85s were 5.5K yesterday, and with the 83 times 10 being gone, and also I think with this supply, you're seeing this price of the 85 market go down incredible incredible amounts guys i still think fodder is way too cheap and i still think that it is a great time to be buying anything from 82s and 83s all the way up to i would say like 88s and 89s like 89s actually did okay yesterday those were 28k on Sunday or Monday, I think. Now they're about 30,000 coins. I bought 90s for like 47 and 48K for to do Hullet. He, they're now 51,000 coins. So the higher tier fodder is up a little bit, but it's this middle tier that is still just crazily low. But I still think that it is low enough and it's such a low price that over the next couple of weeks, it is a good time to club stock this fodder for sure. And guys, I think I really like the 82s and the 83s a lot because of some of the upgrade packs that we have out right now and because of some of the upgrade packs that have gone. But that fodder market is down bad. It's crazy again how low it is. I did not expect EA to drop a tradable 100k pack yesterday to drop those fodder prices even more. And informs are starting to drop as well and they should continue to drop unless EA drop some other sort of upgrade pack or SBC that would require an inform because the new SBC that we had yesterday that is kind of like the replacement for the 83 times 10 I wouldn't really call it a replacement but it's another upgrade pack that is there is the 85 plus times 2 the 85 double and that does not require an inform as it shouldn't I mean this is still we, we were turning in an 82 and an 83 rated squad with um or sorry we were turning in an 83 rated squad with an inform for an 83 times 10 and now we have to turn in two squads 182 and 183 rated for an 85 double this is not as good of an upgrade pack, but people are still going to do it. There's two Winter Wildcards teams that are in packs right now. Also, with the best of leaving packs, a lot of people, I think, are starting to save up this stuff, and they're saving their packs because it is January. That turns the mind on to thinking about Team of the Year and that sort of thing. So without the 83 times 10 grind, that is why I say I like 82s and I like 83s for an investment because I do believe that people are still going to want to do the 85 double upgrade um, as many times as they can this week. And I think that could inflate those prices. Same thing with the inform upgrade. If we get a year interview player pick, hopefully more upgrade packs coming out today. And usually those require some lower rated squads. So that's why I kind of like the 82s uh, and the 83s for that right there. What? But uh, other upgrade packs that we had yesterday, our favorite player pick, the 80 plus is back now the menu the menu grind's not going to be as good this week guys again it's going to feel like the menus are just not as great because that 83 times 10 i think is so prolific in helping us get 83s 84s and the occasional inform and the occasional walkout back into our club but this 80 plus player pick is the second biggest piece of winter wild cards and i think this is basically the biggest w 
of an upgrade pack that we've had so far. I did a couple yesterday, hit a walkout, hit an 85. Guys, whenever you have literally one duplicate gold card in your unassigned pile after opening a pack, don't quick sell it. Literally put it into this, get a couple other gold cards from your club and just do one player pick because you never know what you're gonna get. This 80 plus player pick is absolutely insane for getting 82s, threes, fours, fives, and even the occasional walkout, right? Let's try one, see what we get. We get ourselves, okay, of course it's bad for the video, it's an 82, but that's an SBC that we believe in and it's very, very good. So it's nice that that is out and that EA released that yesterday. Now, quickly, the other SBC that we had yesterday was not so great. And it is, and again, our player SBC, it's Diata. I mean, EA, like, what's up with the player SBCs this year, man? I mean, this Diata card, place that plus for Energizer, four star, four star, didn't upgrade anything from that, uh, from his base card. This is a pacey super sub. The upgrade's terrible from his gold card. I don't even know what to say about this one, man. Yeah, it's cheap. It's 40,000 coins, but it is 7% upvoted just because. The card doesn't look that good. 99 physical, sure, that's kind of cool, but it doesn't fit his card, and that's why it's confusing. SBC for players this year for Winter Wild Cards has been just downright bad. It has been. That's usually what we look forward to with Winter Wild Cards is daily player SBCs. We were excited for it this year, but they've just been terrible. Terrible this year. That's just a fact, honestly, apart from a couple of decent ones. Also, today's Tuesday. I know we've been on the holidays, Where's our this week in Ultimate Team tweets? We've had, we haven't had these for the last two weeks. If you remember, the last one we had was when Player of the Month Mbappe was released, which was a couple of weeks ago. So I think EA just stopped doing those during the holidays. But uh, I'm kind of, I missed those. Kind of missed a little bit of a look into what we're getting during the week. We'll see if EA start up with those next week. But as of right now, we don't know specifically what is coming out. But we do have some ideas. So we'll talk more about that at the end of the video for what could come out throughout the rest of this week. But let's go to evolutions all right this was some more big content yesterday i say big content right it's impacting the market and people are talking about it and it's making gold cards go up a lot in value that's what's big about the keep up evolution it is another paid evo and i'm being honest guys i think it should be free the upgrade yeah it's decent you get a nice physical boost a decent defending boost dribbling passing its upgraded pace with a little bit of an upgrade as well the reason why i think they keep keep the these as a 75,000 coin or 350 FC point. The reason why I think it's paid is because it gives a play style plus, which I'm like, is it really worth to pay 75,000 coins for the play style plus for jockey? That is a really usable one and it is a really good one, but I don't think it's worth the price here to be completely honest. Um, but it is an Evo that a lot of people see value in for a couple specific cards and those specific cards are meta enough, right? To make the market move. Now you look at Footbin, you see it's only a 25% upvoted evolution, probably because it's 75,000 coins and the players you can put in it. Yeah, they're not bad. You know, there are some decent ones like the Bornal that it shows right there. Uh, Niakate has a crazy looking card out of this. Amarti, Medina, a couple of informs in there. But the one that's shaking things up the most, guys, is Saliba. This is literally an Evo. If there's ever an Evo for one player, this feels like this Evo was made for Saliba. And it's this 86 rated card right here that's really the exciting one out of this evolution and then what everybody's doing right now with this Evo because you compare it to his 87 rated Winter Wild cards that is in packs. It is the same pace. It is the same defending. The card in packs has plus two physical, plus three passing, three dribbling, and five shooting, which to people is like, okay, that's a little bit of an upgrade in those areas. But considering this card on the market's 240,000 coins, and this Evo card is, well, 75k, unless you have to spend the 10,000 coins and try to snipe him. I think he's about to go extinct. The 83 rated Saliba off the market, it's a lot cheaper to spend, let's say, 85,000 coins to get this Saliba, who's almost the same as this one and has a better quote unquote playstyle plus with the Jockey playstyle plus than it is to just go and buy this card off the market. That is what is making prices move yesterday on this game. That what That's what caused prices to drop. Look at VVD. VVD yesterday, I believe it was 100k, 104, went down to 90,000 coins, is back up on the rise a little bit there. Ledley King, another budget Premier League center back from 59k down to 53k. I bet our favorite Joe Gomez is even dropping. We talk about this guy a lot right now. Very popular. He's 88k. Yesterday, he went from high 90s to, yeah, 88,000 coins where he is right now. So a lot of center backs have been dropping. And I really think it's because of this Evo, but it's not just this Evo, right? And that's kind of what we talked about in the intro. And another point that I want to make, 
center backs in this game right now, um, so many people are getting new center backs, especially for these really popular Evos that in the last couple of days have been dropped, right? Pep's legacy to keep up the crossing crusader for right back and left back, it's really given us some insane center back cards. Like so many people are doing David Alaba, whether you're going the inform route with the team league upgrade or the crossing crusader into Pep's legacy. Like I'm looking at a card in my club right now, I could do this Evo because I have him first owner, right? I know his card's extinct on the market. I don't have any Serie A players that are in um, my club, really. I don't have that many links to put him in my team, but I'm tempted to do this Ranieri card because he goes four-star, five-star with these stats. That is an insane center back card. Absolutely mental center back card. You look through some of the other Evos you can do in here uh, that are center backs, like the Konate card even looks pretty solid. I mean, you would have already had to do Centurion center back, and there's a couple other versions in here like Tilo, Tilo Carrer where it's the same way. But if you have the Niakate Inform or if you get him from a Team League player pick, like what an Evo that is. That is an insane evolution. He's 83 rated, probably not that difficult to pack from a Team League player pick, right? Uh, even the Vandevin is not a bad looking card for a 78 putting into an 81 for a card that could still be evolved in the future being 81 rated with a play style plus that's a really good card guys it's just it feels like the center back specifically these top couple right the saliba the alaba uh the ranieri a couple other options from uh the crusader evos that were dropped just a couple of days ago right people are really excited about this one crossing crusader with the left backs and with the right backs like man it just seems like center backs in this game right now the best center backs that you can get for a good budget price are actually ones that you can do via evolutions. The Luke Shaw, man. How could I forget about Luke Shaw? Look at the state of this card. Crossing Crusader Luke Shaw into Pep's Legacy. What a card that is. Whether you're going to play him at left back or center back, there are so many great options for Evos right now for that specific position of center back that it's really making cards on the market hurt, and it's really going right into people's teams. And I look at my team, and I'm like, okay, yeah, right now I'm using a center back Kuti Romero so that I get links. Well, I was playing a squad battles game for Evos. Ignored the squad right now. But I use this card solely for links to Ragoni. Don't have any MLS links. Need the Argentinian one. And I've got Blanc. I look at the rest of the squad. Hullet's about to come in for this mad lad. But I'm like, the weakest link in my team is probably the defenders, right? Why don't I do one of these sick Evos to get one of these defenders in here? Because there's no CB SBCs right now that I would want to do that would go straight into my team, it's just crazy, right? I think that the Evos have, at least right now, caught up to the power curve of the cards that are in packs, right? When you have an Evo Saliba that is almost the same as his one in packs, and there's a 120, 30,000 coin price difference, it is just pretty crazy. So that's kind of how Evos are impacting the market right now. And we love the good Evo content, we do, right? We love the chain evolutions, we love the opportunity to get these really insane cards. It's just impacting the market a lot, and uh, impacting the way things move on this game. Now, let's talk about market a little bit more, right? I told you guys I'm fully invested. Let me show you what I bought. I still have a Courtois, right? I think this card is honestly terrible. I have a couple of Mukiele. I have a couple of John Barnes. Thinking about buying a couple more John Barnes before weekend league rewards get paid out this morning. He's like low 50s, I think, especially with a lot of the other icons doing well. This is a card that I think could do very well with a meta play style plus a cool upgrade for him 4-4 and only, I mean, his other cards in the game people say are very good. So that's a card that I like specifically. Hope he can go up like 10K in the next week. Um, I got some Dokus in the low, uh, in the 220 range. I have some Adi Emmys at 180. Um, I stab, what else do I have? I do have a couple of VVDs. I bought some of these too early. I bought these before the Evo yesterday came out. I should not have done that, but I'm still very bullish on the market, guys. I think there are opportunities still out there right now to invest in cards. I'm looking at the Winter Wild Cards Team 2 and Team 3 mostly, like I just mentioned with the John Barnes, because these cards are still kind of low. But once again, I like the low budget I like the cheaper stuff under a couple hundred thousand coins just because i feel like that's where you're seeing the market move the most recently and uh that's where the most demand is on this game for cards right now that's why i like that part of the market the most so after today's weekend league rewards i think you could see a decent rise and a continuation of the rise now some of the other cards like raul is down salah is down Again, I like the low tier the best, all right? Be careful with some price ranges as well. Some of these cards are getting very close to their minimum price ranges, like Dabinia is min price, even though it's 176K. It's weird. Lamptey is still min price at 27,000 coins. That's a card I would love to invest in. I would love to buy like 10 of this dude, put him on my transfer list, 
for the weeks to come but at least right now he is still min price at 27k and they haven't been updating min prices on like any of these cards so i, I don't like it i want to see him upgraded before up downgraded i guess before i would buy that but i really think that card is going to be a good investment um even claude maurice i think he needs to get a price range downgrade as well he could be a really solid investment. Pick up a Shelby, pick up a Raspidori at almost discard and stock those in the club. Uh, I think after Week in League Rewards today and throughout the rest of the week this week, these prices could end up doing pretty good for the ones that are in packs and even for the rest of the market. Again, here's our example, right? Here are, here's our example of the team one of winter wild cards right we had all the crazy evos last week of christmas on saturday sunday monday and then tuesday it started to slow down and what happened you go into wednesday you go into thursday the market really started to take off now this week we know that we're getting the fire and ice promo next so it's going to depend a little bit on the leaks and stuff like that but with the sbc craft like we mentioned the 83 times 10 being gone the player sbcs they're releasing are not that good at least most of them are not that good right now I am still thinking that there's an opportunity for the market to rise this week, and that's why I put my coins into a lot of cards. I would also shout the SBC fodder once again, just because how low is it going to go in the next two or three weeks before team of the year? I think it is going to continue to go up from here with not as much supply and still a lot of demand, especially as we get towards team of the year, people crafting packs for that big promo. So I think the market is still investable. If you don't want to risk it on stuff that is in packs, that's fine. I feel you. Uh, I would go out of packs. There's still buys here. But as you take a look at the out of packs market, remember just earlier in the, the last week, we were buying Barella at 300. He's now 330,000 coins. Foden, I was buying at 140. He's now 160. If you see him at 150, that's a pretty good buy, right? And as you take a look down the list of a lot of other cards, I look specifically at the UEFA heroes. You can tell the market is really doing well look at some of these militos seventy thousand coins um company's still low dudek is up twenty thousand coins a card after the evolutions and all this stuff yesterday risa is going up but he could go higher uh again i like the lower tier guys the lower tier is moving the best and moving the most so click around the market just be careful with defenders once again because of all the evolutions that we have had recently being defender focused a lot of people are not buying there or not as many people are buying there they're buying more than the attackers the, the midfielders side of the pitch on the market so that's kind of the market right now let's talk a little bit more about today though tuesday what could shake things up today or what makes me think that the market's going to do good this week because the content's not going to do so good. Well, what about today's content, right? As the SBCs load very slowly, that's a weird one. Today's SBC is, and guys, I'm so happy now that we're almost to the end of this train, of this graphic, because every single SBC, at least in the past week, has been bad news bears. Today is Roy Keane. And I want to get excited every day like I do when I look at the SBC, but like Roy Keane, man, what kind of, what kind of card are we going to get today, EA? Are we actually going to get a center mid or a center defensive mid? Or are you going to give us something crazy like a striker or a cam Roy Keane with boosted shooting, passing, and pace, and downgraded defense and physical? I don't know. He, on his base card, does have a three-star weak foot, two-star skills. Need to upgrade that. He's got slide tackle, ping pass, intercept first touch, press proven relentless. Good play styles for a defensive midfielder. And everybody remembers, if you played FIFA 23, the Trophy Titans icon Roy Keane. This card was nuts. It was released in April. It was a really, really great card for the price. 216k. People loved it, right? I mean, it was even 400k when it first released. And people thought this card was a little expensive, but he was really good in game. So maybe we could have a flashback sort of situation as this, where we have a really good Roy Keane release today. But I'm not getting my hopes up because these player SBCs have been pretty bad. I think John Stones has the next sbc that really to me i mean could be a good sbc hopefully right i don't even know but roy Keane today i'm not expecting great things from that and then other than that uh they've been dropping a lot of upgrade packs during this promo we have the year interview player pick going away could it come back potentially could they release another sort of party bag today that would maybe include cards from previous promos like team of the group stage um you know kind of like a year in review but for not sbc players like players that were in packs i think there's a pretty high likelihood they could do something along those lines today maybe include thunderstrucks maybe include like team of the group stage hopefully not triple threats but maybe fc pro live cards radioactive dynasties the last few promos in this game there could be some sort of situation like that uh, on the game today as well but i think they're going to release some sort of upgrade player pick and then the roy Keane. other than that i don't know maybe the 85 plus player pick is an upgrade we get maybe it's the 84 times five i'm not expecting great or insane things 
Uh, other SBCs that expire today, I think it's just the year in review. That's the biggest one that expires today on this game. Everything else is still going to be around. Maybe the daily login. Now, the daily login is still here for a few more days. Uh, yesterday, 84 times 20. That was nice at least to get our club stock. I have a bunch of 84s now in my club. My 84 times 20 was just high rated fodder. It allowed me to get all but one squad of Hullet done. I've got an 89 rated squad left of Rude Hullet. And then uh, this SBC is done. I cannot wait for him to join my main team because oh boy do we need it i think i'm gonna add in a couple more cards here that fit this team i need some like 90s and 91s to finish off this squad i don't mind shelling out some cash because they are pretty cheap and we'll have a finished root hole probably today on the stream now the last thing i want to talk about because there could be some more leaks today um with content maybe slowing down a bit maybe we get some more news and info about fire versus ice or fire or ice whatever it is this promo that was dropped a couple of years ago that does not have a very good i don't know it's, it's not very well thought of all right because um this is a card that uh card design at least that brings back some bad memories from older fifas but hyunmin sun has been leaked to come in the promo maybe we get some more news about it i don't know if they do a loading screen as early as today um on, uh, on on Tuesday, but hey, I guess it's possible. We'll have to see. They did an early loading screen for winter wild cards. Maybe Wednesday tomorrow is more believable, but watch out for more player leagues and news surrounding that. And I do think the 30 coin pack refreshes today. So GG's, watch out for a 30 coin pack. Couple more lightning rounds in the store. Shouldn't impact the market too much. That's why I am invested once again. So guys, that's gonna be the video for today. The evolutions are going crazy and I gotta figure out who I'm gonna be evoing. Again, I do believe it does actually pay in terms of having more opportunities it is better to wait before starting an evolution uh rather than just jumping straight into things because with all these evos that have come out recently there's some crazy chains that you can make especially with all of the uh, winter wild cards evos and that is nice right so that's kind of the main hype on the game right now that's why i want to talk about it a lot today because it's impacting basically everything if you enjoyed today's video drop a thumbs up on a comment below if you have any questions and subscribe if you're new i'll see you guys in a twitch stream today it's been nathan accountant Peace.